Hello everyone, this is my first haul. Um, my name is Ernestine and I'm a Poshmark part-time reseller. Um, and I find bargains and sell them on Poshmark. And sometimes I find I find I get some really great finds, designer finds. Um, so I will leave my uh, Poshmark closet in the comments below. But today I'm gonna show you my haul. Let's see. I went to a store. I live in Northern Virginia, and I went to a store called the Second Avenue value stores and I spent like four and a half hours there so I spent let's see a hundred and a hundred and ninety okay this will not okay a hundred and ninety dollars and fifty six cents um I have a lot of items though but this time I've been watching the cold state and um, some of the things I used to pass pass over she's making the killing selling so I decided to do shoes so I did a lot of shoes this time and I found some great great buys um, hopefully I can make money because I paid a lot of money for them but let's start with my haul uh, some of the things I get because I get a lot of plus size um, women shopping in my closet so I got some plus size things because I know that's what sells and they might not be you know trendy or anything but they are um, they, they, they go fast in my store um, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna list them for yet but I'll tell you approximately how much I paid for them. Okay, let's start. This is a Calvin Klein animal print top. It has this zip detail on the arm and it's so, sort of a dolman sleeve. If you can see it, dolman sleeve and the zip detail. And also this little gold detail at the neck. This is a size 2X and these sell fast in my closet. Next one is just a white Talbot 2X sweater. V-neck, easy wear can be worn to work with a shirt under or just by itself it's really um i really like it the kind of things i like in my closet too and one of the things i do is if i don't like something i don't buy it if i'm if i can't wear it i won't buy it i don't care how nice it is if it's not my style people say you curate a certain style in your closet I started by um, selling a lot of designer stuff because that's what I had I, that's what I, I have in my closet um, so and they were just sitting there I don't wear them I wear regular clothes and I have all these designer stuff so I decided to sell them so um, yeah if I don't like anything I don't care what the designer is well let's Let's not go that far. If it's a Gucci or Louis Vuitton, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> but uh, but if it's uh, just a, a brand and it's nice, but it's not my style, I'm not gonna buy it. So buy what speaks to you, you know? And usually you can sell something. Um, you can encourage people to buy something if you believe in what you're selling. You know what I'm saying? Next is Scotch and Soda. This is a men's brand long sleeve scotch and soda um size extra large and it's it's just a t-shirt long sleeve tee i didn't know what brand that was but um i looked it up while i was in the store and apparently it sells it has some good comps some posh marks so i bought it 
I like this dress. It's it's heavy crepe material, V-neck. The designer, I mean, it's not a designer. It's just um, Clinton Kelly that used to be on TV, uh, What Not to Wear. If you remember that show, What Not to Wear. I guess he started his own line of clothing. These retail for under a hundred dollars. So, but I paid seven ninety nine, um, and the orange was on sale, so I I paid half of that. So I actually paid um, four dollars for that dress. I really like this. Ah, uh, this is a romper. A Banana Republic romper and it says size 4 but it looks pretty big I'm sure it's supposed to be it's meant to be worn um oversized and it has this cuff cuff legs right there um and the back has this trench coat detail and actually it has pockets too in the back I hope you can see that I really like it um if I could fit it I would keep this on for myself this was $14.99 originally at at um, the thrift store but it was on sale as well for 50% off so I got that for $7.50 and this Zara baby baby doll dress I really I mean can it be any cuter it's tiered here and here and it has this ruffle top detail with a crew neck zipper in the back and long sleeve with buttons button details of this sleeve um this one was full price at $6.99 but i love it so much i bought it sometimes i don't make a lot of money on the things I get but because I love it I'm ready to make you know five dollars next is another plus size this is a magenta or fuchsia whatever you want to call it size 20 size 22 women really career wear it's from Talbot's and hopefully that one sells really fast too because um it was it, it was from I think it was $5.99 the, the tag is broken but uh, that's a Korea skirt this is this is the new with tags uh solitaire top it's really long extra long i put measurements when i uh list them but the top is really long and it's a high low with some slits on the side solitaire hope you can see that and that would be great with pants i mean not pants leggings that's a leggings kind of kind of top I like this but I've never sold sweatshirts but I, I saw this Yale sweatshirt and I thought mm, somebody uh, some people do well with you know school college uh, sweatshirts and things like that so yeah this is a size small and it it's it has no hood i paid 7.99 for it probably go for 25 dollars this one is another new with tags this is mango dress cute shift dress you see this the sleeves i love that just uh straight up but look at the back. Look at those buttons. Really cool. I like that. And it's orange. It actually has pockets in the front. 
if you can see pockets and it goes all the way down they're big pockets so i really like it i hope someone would like it too okay nicole state also talked about um buying a lot of american eagle distressed jeans this is something i've never really done but yeah this is my first one i'll see how it does it's really distressed see the back american eagle size let me see what size it is size us eight long cool paper leg skinny leg jeans oh i really like this dress it's a fit and flare Ugh. fit and flare lace dress but it has like um a cotton layered cotton slip attached it's really well made. It's like two layers, so it feels really poofy at the bottom. Exposed zipper. It's an anthropology. It's also new with tags. Where is the tag? It's also new with tags. Anthropology. Uh, okay, there you go. And the original price is $188. So, I might list this one for $88. My next item. Oh, this is so nice. If the size wasn't so tiny. Okay, Carly. I don't know if you all know this brand. But it's a really high end. They this is a suit. They retail for upwards of eight hundred dollars. Sometimes eight hundred dollars a piece, actually. But this is a suit in a size zero. Notice the detail at the bottom here of the skirt. That's also carried through on the sleeves. Can you see that? really cool with some shagginess and um it has the buttons are snap closure let me move it back a little so you really see it it's a really well made obviously a really great suit for some tiny person When I saw this, I was it made me happy. This is a Ted Ted Baker. Ted Baker is an English designer who just became very popular f a couple of years ago. Um, I bought I paid eleven ninety nine for this dress. The color is just beautiful. That pink, that um, hot pink. And it's rouge, so when you actually wear it, these will straighten out, and it it will show the figure really nicely. It's really long, so it's like a below knee type dress. In the back, it's look at the detail in the waist. Um, and it's a size. It's a size four. Ted Baker has a different sizing. Um, I'm trying to show it here. Let's see. Can you see it? There you go. Ted Baker has a different sizing system. Their size four is a size US ten. So I will put that in the description when I when I do the listing. And another one of my great finds. Oh! this skirt look at the patent patent uh, leather at the waist 
and the piping detail it's a pencil skirt from Carolina Herrera however it's it's her lower line CH even her lower line is still expensive don't get me wrong her lower line is uh, her lower line is uh, for this skirt probably retails closer to four or five hundred dollars so yeah I was very excited to see if to get this skirt it's a size size six okay now the same that suit I was talking about the Carly I found a scarf Carly it's a huge scarf it's more like a wrap actually but the colors are so beautiful look I mean it's a square scarf and you could wear it as a wrap that's how big it is it's like a a beach cover-up but it's too nice to be a beach cover-up so unless you are some swanky Saint Tropez type person <laughs> you would be wearing this over a suit for church or something unless you're Beyonce Carlisle would be just another ordinary piece of clothing see the name Carlisle okay this is a J brand white pair of jeans. This brand, this tie, the, the style is Su Suvi. Suvi. I have to figure out how to do this on uh, on this camera thing because it's so hard to see. Su. B and J brand in a size 28 but it has a lot of stretch and then look at the details on the on the ankles it's a cropped pants I think I don't know that might be my first J brand as well but Maybe not. Maybe I have a blue jean, a blue J, J brand jeans. Those actually retail really high, closer to $200. So, And then, again, one of those things you see and you like, even though they're not high-end or expensive, but you like the style. I like everything camouflage. So, I got this really cute shorts and they are supplies and they're in size 12 so supplies in size 12 okay moving right on another plus size pair of pants this is Calvin Klein have inclined. Hope you can see it. In size 20 women. And it has these zipper detail ankles. Can you see? Really cute. Yes. I like my plus size women to be fashionable too. Because there's a lot of junk out there for big women, you know. Um, but Calvin Klein has come a long way um, to make some of those um, plus size clothes really flattering. So I like Calvin Klein. They were they weren't always that way. Bras sell for me too. So I got this Kasik, which is a Lane Bryant brand. A six size 42D. Belts, belts, belts. I got two belts. Another Carly. I was, maybe there was a, somebody that did a donation that really loved that brand. And that day, I was lucky. I picked up, but picked up a lot of Carly 
brands. But this is, look at that. It's silver. It's snake skin. Um, genuine leather. Size large. Look at the buckle. Really cool. And I paid $3.99. This is another belt. It doesn't have a, a brand on it, but the details I really like. Look at the buckle. Can you see it? Uh. And it's pink on the inside and snake skin on the outside. And another, again, this is a 2X. Like I told you guys, I like to look out for my plus size. Okay, now let's get to the shoes. I really, these are not shoes that I would have bought had I not watch Nicole State. So thank you Nicole. I really like these shoes. Let's get into the shoes. Ugh, sorry for the shaky camera here. These are once I can find the name. These are Keens. Oops. Wrong wrong shoe. These are Keen Kush. Still great. Look like they've been worn very little. Leather sandals. And they have great comps on Poshmark. Next ones are... I paid... Oh, for the, these Keens, I paid $5.99. These ones are JBU by Jambu. JBU, they also have great comps on, on uh, Poshmark. If you don't know how to look up the comps on Poshmark, comment below. Let me know. I will make another video on how I check my comps. And I do that while I'm in the store. I will pick a bunch of things, put them in my cart, go stand in the corner, and quickly check. Put, put the things that are not... Um, that won't do well and uh, and that's how I do it these again almost brand new looks like they've never been worn and I paid $7.99 for them nice look at those flower details in the front and these are size bleh. nine 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 and a half these other ones were size eight and a half. The ones I showed you before, those were eight and a half. And these are blue, 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 blue. another pair of Keens. I saw Nicole with one of these. That's why I bought it. And I looked up the comps, very good. These are size seven, size seven. Still very good condition. I'm going to clean them, and they're waterproof, actually. I'm going to clean these, and uh, how much did I pay for these? I actually paid $3.99. Can you believe that? $3.99. Oh, my heart skipped a beat when I saw these. These are Dr. Martens. Yay! I'm going to try to clean that. I will also, if you want me to show you how I clean my shoes and bring them back to life, please let me know in the comments. I will do that. And all, you know, the, the, the quintessential Dr. Martin bottom and the, and the, and the, uh, what do you call that? The yellow seam. Dr. Martin. I was so happy. 
These are a size eight. These are a size eight. You could wear these and pass them down to your grandkids. <laughs> That's how durable they are. Okay. This is another pair of shoes that my heart skipped a beat when I saw them. These are fry boots. Fry. Fry boots. They are very scuffed. But believe you me. I would take those scuffs out. That all that scuffing, I would take them out when I clean them. Again, if you want to see that, let me know. And these are in a size. Dum, 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 dum. These are size eight. They're still. I mean, the leather is so. You know, the the fry boots are known for quality, so they will last forever apparently this person did not take care of them that well with the scuffing and all that but you can knock them about and they still keep ticking size eight okay one but least one but Okay, I really like these boots. I actually consider keeping them for myself. They're my size. They're 9B, waterproof, suede, Kohan boots. Look at that. Um, look at that uh, plaid detail. Hardly worn, size 9, waterproof suede. Look at how great they are. Whatever this is, I'm going to clean that out too. Love those. Love those. Last but not least. Actually. ta -da! These are Bell by Sigerson Morrison. Oh my God. I mean, that day was just one of the best days. These are nine and a half woven flats. Brand new, never worn, leather sole. Whenever you see a leather sole, they are good shoes. Pick them up. And the comps on these, obviously, are going to be high. They're designer shoes. But I've also considered keeping them for myself. But we'll see. Really cute. I love those. Love them, love them, love them. Okay. That's it for my haul this time. Hopefully I'll have um, another haul next week. Hopefully. But um, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. It really helps me. And uh, I will keep bringing some haul videos. And also um, answering your questions. Thank you so much for watching. Again, good night.